Hello there. I am Lisa Paul. I'm a lactation consultant in private practice in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I own the Knoxville Lactation Clinic. And this is a quick video on how to be a client for a telehealth session for a breastfeeding consult. Um, okay. Did you see what I did just now? I adjusted the angle of my camera. I can move it up and down. Um, so that I get some different angles. I've been playing with this. This is not natural for me either. So I just want you to know that I am not judging you if you do not know everything to do. Like see, even right now I put my hands below. So if I move them around, you don't know what the heck I'm doing. So I am learning to bring my hands up, to sit back further, um, to figure out where my props are. I'm doing things like turning myself in the chair and looking to see what you would be able to see if I had a baby to the breast. I'm checking, oops, my boob. I'm checking my boob to see which angle do I need to have it at so that you can see it. Does it white out? All of these things um, are things that can be fixed. So if you'll look behind me, behind me here is um, a window, door wall actually. And so what I've done is I've closed it off. What I found is that that light was blinding. Um, I do have a light here that's kind of coming on my face. I probably need to get a different light. I am not worried about that right now. I'm just trying to implement some things. So having a light that shines towards you so that I can see what's going on. And then also just making sure that when you are on a call with me, that you give me a vote of the ability to see you and baby nursing. Um, I'm okay if you're sitting on the floor. I'm okay if you've got your phone. If you're propping your phone up somewhere, like if you prop it on the edge of something, put a pillow behind it and make the phone look at you, that's fine. And I may even ask you, I don't know where my phone is right now, but take your phone and then show me exactly what's going on right here. The other thing that I might ask you to do is to take some pictures of baby's mouth um, baby's lips, um, maybe even baby's poop, maybe even a picture of your nipple, maybe even a picture of baby latching onto the breast, like right, I mean doing a picture really close so that I can see some stuff and having those uploaded before the appointment starts. Um, the technical stuff of it is doxy.me is really easy to use. That's why I'm using it as my platform for telehealth. You basically click on that link and check in and then wait for me um, to let you into the room. I like that one better. There was another one I was using where I wasn't sure who's there, if they're there or not, or whatever, and I decided that one was too hard. Um, so the one I'm using is, and it's secure. No one else is going to be able to get into our, into our telehealth session. Um, there is one other option if for some reason you have no way of getting onto doxy.me um, there is one called spruce health that i'm also connected into so that we could do a secure video chat through there that one's a little different you need to have an app so in any case i've made sure that this is really private you can use your phone you can use your laptop you can use a desktop you can do use, use a webcam um, you can use an ipad I don't, a tablet it doesn't matter um, I just need to have an, for insurance to cover it, funny enough, is I need to have an in-person, um, I need to be able to see you. Um, and it needs to be two-way. So if for whatever reason you aren't hearing me, we can also call each other on the phone and do a video through a computer, laptop, whatever, a tablet. So there are a lot of different ways that you can do it, but I just also wanted you not to worry about like where the technology of it. It's really, really simple. And if we can't make it work, then I'm not gonna charge you for the session. And um, afterwards, you're gonna get a care plan just like you always have, and if you've not been a client from, from me before, you wouldn't know that, but I always do a really detailed care plan afterwards where it is in the portal, you'll get to know what we talked about, you won't have to remember everything. Um, and then I may ask you for or for pictures to be uploaded later, uploaded later on so that I can do a little bit more evaluation. So this is going to be an interesting process, but I think that I can make this as workable as possible. So I'm really looking forward to helping you out and helping you breastfeed and recognize, don't be afraid of the video. It's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out together. Um, look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.